Welcome to Tabletop Topics. I'm your host, Jeff. And of course, Jeff. Guys, if you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word, Tabletop Topics, our Triple T's Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes, and of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. Let's jump right into it. Sorry, guys. Uh, it's a late live, but um, I made it, or we made it. I'm and right um, we just wanted to um, bring up something that uh, uh, Fuzzy Nuts texted us the other day and, and, and let us know that um, uh, Blasphemous Nugget and uh, Sexual Chocolate um, got into... Uh, a, a t-boned car accident and they're in critical conditions and we just wanted to um put our thoughts and prayers and uh um, wish them very well and hopefully they uh um, make it out alive of this um absolutely yeah so um you are you are in our thoughts and prayers um blasphemous nugget um and uh sexual chocolate but um yeah they mean a lot yeah Especially yeah man like, yeah, they yeah always pulling up yeah for sure you know what I'm for sure for sure like they're always here to support us and all that for sure for sure you know and I just hope we could just return the favor. Yeah, yeah. So I've been I've been staying in contact. I've been staying in contact with him. Um, I just haven't gotten a response yet back just to just to get an update. But um, we just wanted to um, not just shout them out, but um, um, our thoughts and prayers are with them, and we're hoping that they really. Amen. Yeah, man. Seriously. Like, um, amen. Amen. Get out of it, but, uh, Wishing for the best, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But, Absolutely. Um, absolutely but, but uh yeah man um but like like i said i appreciate you guys' support and and all that so and if you guys can uh swing by and uh, just just wish him wish yeah him wish well, them, them wish well. the family well and all that stuff like that because you know people in florida they don't know how to drive so that'd be a motherfucker yeah it does that's it crazy. does sometimes it is sometimes that's great it, so. it reminds me of back in the day when you're friends with that guy uh matt yeah literally yeah. bought a motorcycle and then two days later gets like yeah, he he goes to my down to Miami and then he's doing a U turn. It's his right away, and he's doing a U turn, and then he ends up getting hit. Um, Smoke just wrote "Ego Past." Wow! Damn! Wow! My condolences. Seriously, my condolences. Rest in peace, brother. The others are still in critical condition. Wow. Okay. All righty. Damn. Right. Thanks. Thanks for the uh, update, Vic. Yeah. Like, yeah, we've been trying to. We've been Contact. trying. Yeah, we've been trying to call him. Seriously. Rest in peace, Ego. Damn. Rest, Rest in peace. R.I.P. Bud. Damn. 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 That's crazy. But that that really just goes to show you how how crazy it is. Like, you can be should here. be happening really yeah, fast. Yeah, you can bro. be here um, now and then gone the next day. Should be happening way too fast. Damn, that's crazy. Well, my condolences to the family. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um. Yeah, dude. Wow. That is crazy. That's crazy. Cause yeah, like I said, we've been trying to reach. We've been trying to reach him, but we couldn't. Um, we couldn't reach him, man. But um. How's how's uh, smoke? How you doing, man? How's how's Reaper Army? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing, How are they man? holding up? That's crazy. That is crazy. Um, let's go through the comments while Vic is. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, what's up, Jimmy? Snod Dog says got stuck at work anyway. Mm -hmm. Uh, Vic says I'm gonna make a vid dedicated to these people. He already said leader on these motherfuckers. One hundred. They've been my day ones. Respect. Yeah, respect. Respect, man. Vic. Real respect, shit, man. Yeah, and when you come back on Vic, uh, um, we can run that. We can run that through. Or if you want to do it Absolutely. on your channel, yeah, we can run it through Absolutely. Um, our page and, and your page too. And, and just. Um, Damn, that's tough. That is tough. That is tough. Because I literally, we were having a conversation with him last week, man. Right. So that's He crazy. was literally on the live. And we yeah, were yeah, yeah. Joking with Bro. Yeah, for sure, that. for sure. That's crazy. Damn. But thank you for the update, Vic, man. Absolutely. It, um, Absolutely. 
because like i said we've been trying to reach fuzzy nuts but we haven't been able to so we didn't know what was going on but i appreciate the update on on what's uh of what happened but my condolences to the family and our thoughts and prayers are with them yeah Yeah. well after the show we'll we'll try to you know catch up with see see vic i'll hit you up i'll I'll hit you up after the show if you're still up Mm -hmm. and then um we can we can talk we can talk yeah for sure yeah for sure for sure um let's not stay on this too long cause yeah yeah so i don't want know. this to be a um a a, a grim a, gr- a just a grim episode but um i want to put some light heart because i know that ego would have uh made some laughs and some jokes Absolutely. so i'm gonna tell a brief story of what happened to us when um so on uh um when we went to the movie so on friday we went to the movie theaters and um what does he say Smoke says the Reaper Army is hurt by the news. I was definitely thrown off guard by this. I met up with him before this happened, and wow. I literally met up with Fuzzy yesterday after work to make sure he's good. Okay. All right, brother. All right. All right. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, like I said, we'll we'll call you. We'll I'll call you as soon as uh, we're done doing this. But no, no, no. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna try to because I know that um, Ego would have definitely laughed at this because. Um, this is very funny right we shit talking so, godzilla in the monster verse yes so, one day. <laughs> so um so yeah so i would say this we went to we went to the movie theaters last friday and then we watched godzilla um x-con um the new empire in imax but before but before we went in well well let me show you the memento that we got so we got this is the popcorn bucket that came with it i don't know if you guys can see that yeah so it's like it has their picture it has their picture on it and all that stuff like that and of course my brother got the little cup that had that came with the godzilla um the godzilla um, yeah the godzilla thing so no no i told him that um so we got our got in our seats but of course you know me i have this thing where i have to use the restroom because i don't want to um be in the middle of a film especially if it's like two hours plus right and uh i need to pee because i don't like to miss any scenes regardless of how exciting fun or boring it is so what i did was i went to use the restroom keep him <laughs> oh, oh crap okay, okay. It just dawned on me yeah what so you were talking about so um i my brother chilled <sighs> i went to use the restroom and as i'm walking in the restroom there's this guy using the stall keep in mind he already made it look obvious so me uh walking past him he stares at me as soon as i walk in the door and <laughs> And then, uh, so I'm looking at him from my peripheral, and he's and he looks at me. I look at him from my peripheral, and I keep walking. I skip a stall because you know we don't we don't pee next to each other. That's that's it's weird. We room. don't do that shit. It's just the so <laughs> so we walk into a stall. So I walk into the other stall, and then I start using the restroom. And then he looks at me, and I can see him looking at me from my peripheral again. And then all you hear is flat, 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 like <laughs> this. This nigga <laughs> is flopping his dick. Keep in mind, I don't give a shit. Yeah, you're trying to clean off the pee, do whatever you got to do, move forward. I get it. Do what you got to do. So I finish. I finish doing my thing. I go to wash my hand. He turns his head again, and he looks at me. And I'm like, all right. At this point, I'm looking at my peripheral. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like, I'm trying to understand what he is doing because this is weird at this point. He looks at me when I come in. He looks at me while I'm peeing, and then he looks at me when I go wash my hands. So I'm washing my hands. He turns around, and he looks at me. And when I look through my peripheral, I can see that he has his phone in his hands. When I <laughs> when I tell you this man <laughs> he was taking dick pics, <laughs> sending it to God knows who, but the fact that I finished washing <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy it fix like hey yo so yo, the fact that crazy. so the fact that i finished washing my hand and there's no paper towels there's only that dry blowing machine right <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so so because there's only that dry blowing machine it's like it put so the the sink is like near the wall so i can't see him but the dry blowing machine is like on the edge so i have to go out go to the edge and then he turns his neck and looks at me again through my peripheral, I see this man with the cell phone in his hand. I'm like, bro, you've been taking a piss since Shaking I walked. Shaking the fuck out of that snake, boy. 
throttling that you motherfucker. What? what the hell? I'm like, I'm like, bro. What the fuck? I said, bro, you've been take, you've been. I'm in my head. I'm like, you've been taking a piss since I walk in. I know, even when I drink a giant cup of water, I don't take that long of a piss. That man clearly had this phone in his hand, and he was sending dick pics to whoever he was sending his dick pics to. But it was just weird. So as soon as I'm done, I go right back into the IMAX theater and I get with Jeff and I'm like, hey, Jeff. No, that's weird. That's <laughs> hey, weird he's as like, far. And I'm trying to whisper because my, my voice has a, a, a timber. So yeah, it, it, it kind of it travels. It travels. Right. And then I had I had like a I think I, I had like an eight year old girl in front of me with it with her dad. So I'm sitting there <laughs> whispering to Jeff. Tell me this crazy ass story. Oh, yeah. Bro said I don't think those were eggplant pics he was taking <laughs> bro was making a video he was uploading to the only <laughs> to his only yeah to his oh, of God. yeah he, he was uploading to his OF. so no so <laughs> <laughs> you what uh, go, ahead. Go, ahead, yeah. go ahead no so yeah so after after i'm done i'm like yo why does weird shit always happen no, to me when weird. jeff is not around so i'm like i gotta go i gotta go back and tell jeff so i'm sitting there telling jeff and jeff yeah. is dying that's this crazy. man is dying laughing talking about he was trying to make eye contact what, he, what do you what do you call that when you like that's assert so, dominance that's so weird like that. bro that's like if crazy. you're hey, look look this is how i am if you're doing your thing i don't give a shit go ahead take what's your it dick. called mogging Mo- is that what it's called that, no, i'm old i don't know what that mogging? means. mogging is that what that is so like, that's crazy no look at this that's look at crazy. this look look i don't care look do what you want <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> what would this snot dog say <laughs> snot says <laughs> jerk chicken in it in the amc bathroom before godzilla is real that's crazy <laughs> like i that's said crazy. do what you want i don't care i look like i said do what you want i don't care but stop staring at me or trying to assert but dominance public, no and, like, or make i bro people are fucking weird i don't know what it was you know what the worst part is that's weird yeah, yeah you know what the worst part is it wasn't even a white guy it was a spanish dude and he kept trying to stare at me like bro do your shit i'm here to pee and leave i'm not here to see you <laughs> flip flop <laughs> jicky jock whatever you <laughs> whatever you do with oh, your dick no. oh no <laughs> whatever you do with your dick in the, oh, in the nah, bathroom nah, that's crazy i just want to pee and go watch my movie no nah, that's crazy but other than that that's that that's kind of the story I'm sorry, you got to remember that for the rest of your life oh yeah for show. sure for sure i didn't see nothing and i'm glad i didn't see nothing but it was so fucking weird that he wanted me to like see something because he kept looking at me four times he was probably using you to you know that was weird he was e- trying to excite what, he himself. was probably he was probably yeah he was, trying <laughs> to, he was trying to get me in his shot <laughs> i'm telling you bro that's different. I'm telling you, bro. People, nah, that's people in America are weird. People in America are that's weird. Fucking, bro, it's liberating, bro. Of course, you of come course. here and it's just like, man, I can do anything. No, so I, so I, th- I, I thought I should, um, I thought I should bring that up because I know it's a um, super lighthearted. Um, <laughs> someday when you're rich and famous, with a million <laughs> views, know that at least one person is jerky. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, uh, I swear to God, it's not dog. You're retarded. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. <laughs> 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 oh, no. I can't. It's too early. Oh it's too, I no. Live. It's too early for this shit. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Land of the free." <laughs> no. What did Jimmy say? Uh, oh, or, um, Smoke says, "Smoke." He was giving you that extra aggressive, <laughs> bombastic side eye. Oh, yeah, man. man! Like he wanted me to look and see what he was that's doing. Crazy. So that's crazy. No, so I'm like, dude, that's crazy. I just came here to see. Two kaijus beat the shit out of other hey, kaiju. You saw, you saw someone beating the shit out of someone. <laughs> what? <laughs> flat, flat. what? It's I'm 8 like, p.m. Bro, <laughs> bro said it's bro, 8 p.m. It's 8 p.m. somewhere. That man was making too much noise to be shaking it off, but it was just, it was just fucking weird to me. So I got there as quickly as possible. <laughs> I couldn't dry my hands fast enough. Jimmy says there's this guy who's Spanish and stares the same way. And always smiles when he sees us. Hey. He's young with curly hair. Yep, it might be him because that guy be had the, the, guy. the guy had curly was hair. Was he too. younger or older? He was young. He really? was young. He was young. Yep. Oh, that's that might be that guy, Jimmy. You, you never know. That might be He's that a guy. Menace, bro. 
Uh, you're not that guy. You're he's not that a, guy, he's buddy. He's a public beater. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. And, uh, and uh, we mean public beater as in his uh <laughs> beating his Godzilla. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Bank the monkey! Oh man! You hear that that roar after he's done? <laughs> he's charging up for his atomic breath. <laughs> yo! Hey yo! You Stop. what? Stop! Yeah, man. So no, yeah. So like I said, man, it was um, I I I was holding on to that for about a week, but I know we were supposed to come out with this. <laughs> I'm a, Jimmy says I'm asking. Ask <laughs> did you did you know, show him a picture of me, Jimmy? He might recognize me. <laughs> he was. I should, How do you feel about this guy? Yeah, <laughs> you, he was staring at me pretty hard. <laughs> what? That'd be crazy, bro. I don't know, man. That'd be crazy. You know how they have uh, that the website Feet Finder? It's probably Dick Finder. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I don't think you need a website for that, Jeff. No, nah, you, you don't. Google and nah, Twitter I or X X dot com. I got you, man. That's crazy. They knew exactly what it was doing when they chose that name. That's crazy. Oh, Fee Finder? No, X.com. X. Yeah. Elon Musk ain't slick. Mm -hmm. No, but, um, no, no, yeah, I, th I thought I would bring that up, man, because it was crazy. It was, it was on my, it was, it was stuck in my head. It wasn't even the fact that he was doing the shit that he was doing, the fact that he kept staring at me, and it's like, bro, what do you want? I, I, I'm, I, I don't know. We man. are not com compatible. So <laughs> what's going on? I, I'm, I don't swing that way. So why do you want me to look so bad? But uh, <laughs> Jeff's in there dying. But I thought I, but, but I thought I'd bring that up. But um, no. Um, this episode that we're going to do is um, we were supposed to do it on Tuesday, but of course the schedules didn't align. Time. Yeah, time. Time always comes uh, into into play. But you know. Uh, we wanted to go ahead and bring this episode to you because I know everybody's talking about it. But it's a, uh, it's the Nickelodeon documentary called "Quiet on the Set." It literally is on um, HBO Max. If you guys uh, want to go check it out, it's like a four part, um, forty three minute. Feels um, so gross. Jeff almost puked. <laughs> I know. Chemo. <laughs> uh, it's a four part um, documentary. documentary series about. Um, the the things that all the Nickel Nickelodeon kids went through, and it kind of warned us at the beginning, especially for my brother and I, because we're like '90s babies. Oh, just remember, we gotta use code words. So yes, yeah, yeah. So, so guys, yeah, we're gonna have to use code words because you know they'll they'll kind of like blacklist us, mm -hmm. demonetize. Well, we, we don't get suppress them. us, suppress all us, that all that shit. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use alternative language mm -hmm. uh, that is safe for YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, so we were kind of watching. We were, we, we kind of watched a four part series. We did uh, two episodes on Sunday, and then we finished the last two episodes on Wednesday. And then we decided that we were going to go ahead and um, um, give our thoughts. Give our thoughts on it, and then our our give our thoughts, our opinions. Um, how we not just about the documentary, but how uh, we perceive PDFs in the world, and and how society views it, and and. Um, Maybe uh, some people have their own personal views on on uh, certain stories that happen. If I it's mean, not death by fire, it, then <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. We just will never. Yeah, agree. yeah, yeah. We'll just never agree. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Right. Well, yeah, exactly. Right. And then, and and kind of kind of uh, something that um, remember the question you asked our sister, like if that happened to somebody, do the does anybody have the who right, has the right who to, has the right to. Right. take take said life or anything uh, or delete somebody um or anything like that mm -hmm. but um no, no no yeah so i kind of wanted to give my thoughts on it um so the kind of the 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 first uh half started with um what's going on um do 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 snot says crazy that it was pretty much an open secret for so long like yeah. everyone knew that all that foot shit was suspect yeah that's fair. well yeah it's like um it's like uh, with the right. whole. It's like with the whole R. Kelly thing. Like everybody. Like even. It's like we all knew. Yeah, like Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, when he had the Chappelle show in the early two thousands, would make parodies on, uh, on um, R. Kelly's video and 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 all that stuff like that. But we would brush it off as a joke because, of course, there was no proof, quote unquote. Right. So, or like you said, they would just brush it off like well, it was nothing. And and the thing is, it's like the thing I always go back to. It's just like there were no. <laughs> systems of protection to no. even like funnel these i guess these these issues mm -hmm. to a resolution 
Of course. Yeah. Well, you see what I'm saying? Like, prime example, right? Mm-hmm. How Snot says, you know, it was an open secret. Yeah. Since I was like, since. You've been hearing about it. Yeah, yeah. Since I was on the internet as a kid, you know, especially when like Victorious was really popular on mm-hmm. Nickelodeon and YouTube was entering its like, uh, uh, its golden age, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Where like everyone's doing everything on YouTube. Yeah. People had time to like, hey, look at all this compilation of Dan Schneider's most weirdest scenes from his show. Yeah, and and for you know? for me, because um, I was into Drake and Josh. Mm-hmm. I was into uh, towards the end because I start. I was in my teen years, so towards the end of my uh, towards the mid teens, I kind of watched some episode of Victorious, but I wasn't on it. Never seen Zoe One Hundred and One. Really, no. and that was in the middle of all that. That was in the like, middle. That's yeah. what's crazy. That's when you never that's, saw. That's Zoe. when the hashtag MMT came out. If you know what I'm talking about, Zoe 101. Yeah, I, it was, no. no, it wasn't. It was nah. before that. Nah, way before Victorious. Mm. This was airing around the time like I'd probably say Big Time Rush. Mm-hmm. Drake and Josh was peaking. Like yeah, Drake at, and Josh at, was peaking at, at the top. Amanda Show was ending, and then Drake and Josh was jumping on because you remember they both were on the Amanda Show before they uh, they piloted on. Well, no, they the the idea was, was on the Drake and yeah. Josh, and then the no, pilot. the idea was on on the Amanda the Show. Amanda Show. Yes, yeah. and then they piloted into the Drake and Josh Show. Right. So. Um, no, no, no. So the 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 first the first part of the documentary was um, was uh, basically just talking about. You look like you want to go in. Oh yeah, yeah. Um. So let me let me just give my input. Yeah. So like, are we getting any? Okay. Yeah. So pretty much. Yeah. The the beginning of that was just. It was just kind of giving you the work environment. The working environment. How how things were kind of happening on set mm-hmm. the relationship dynamic between the child stars mm-hmm. the director the the cast and crew and stuff like that and it just always came off as this like light-hearted thing you know but you could tell you know while everyone was on set like there was this open secret out there yeah you see yeah. what i'm saying like, it was and it was uncomfortable too yeah like, something was off you yeah. know <clears throat> like everyone was playing up everyone was an actor including the people who weren't the actors actors yes you know what i'm saying you had to be a certain because way he thing. held the he dangled their job over their heads right you were you were S- essentially your job was essentially used against you you know your employment was used against you um to to keep you from complaining but even then like you even think about like what hr is today yes that's not what it was back in the day not even close you see what i'm saying there was so many complaints you could take the hr that wasn't you know there were no rules for it there was not there wasn't any huge repercussions or 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 consequences when you know what i'm saying that happened yeah like it had to be overt like prime example the the thing that would mostly get reported right Mm -hmm. during this time was uh 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 harassment yeah. harassment and of course racism yes but it had to be like the most overt form of harassment or, or racism. racism i i feel it. you sure what i'm saying yeah. and not like more of a culture where other people essentially establish this is how things work it's mm-hmm. not one in, it's not one perpetrator yeah. it's it has the, to be multiple right and other people enabling that behavior. Said, said behavior, right. yes. So, you know the, so the environment becomes hostile. Right, the environment becomes hostile and, yeah. and, and, and toxic. Um, two, two, two. Uh, Snot says Harvey Weinstein too. Right, yeah. you know? So it's like, it, it's just like an open secret that was just kind of out there. And they're just kind of giving like the backgrounds of, you know, like where the stars came from. Um, and just the relationship with Dan Schneider and the cast and crew. Well, first and foremost... Um, uh, because of the error, because like you said, um, women's rights has only been. I always say this, right? Yeah, go ahead. For the entire history of humanity, women haven't had rights. Yeah, and they only recently got rights. What seventy years ago? Practically seventy years ago. Yeah. So when the entire psychology of the world's societies mm-hmm. only knows. A patriarchic system, uh, uh, and and I and and I don't use it in the, the the, the leftist way, but in in the sense of literally like the, it, it was like when I talked about Vinland Saga. Yes, 
and you were telling me how come she doesn't do this how come she doesn't see that's the freedom of thought that's women true. didn't even have that right that's true you well, sure what, what are you sure she wasn't he because he was doing all this stuff for her no, no no like she okay but like what agency did she have zero zero yeah she had zero agency what zero she had zero agency because essentially uh all all they were back in the day was was baby makers right so they they had no homemaker baby maker yeah yeah they had no autonomy to do whatever they wanted. there was no i want to right and the crazy thing is the argument that a lot of a lot of people will have is they'll say well it's been 70 years well you gotta understand when did humanity start Right, and seven, men seven. men have already estab- have an established role on what they expect from society for the past thousands and thousands of years. Yeah, exactly. You see what I'm saying? And you've had women relegated to this role saying, this is what you're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Well, now that they've been liberated, like There's- you, you expect them to make up for a system that's already been established for millennia. Yeah. That doesn't include them. That doesn't include protections for them. Mm-hmm. So through these 70 years. 70. Th- 70 years, yeah, yeah. They essentially have to lay the groundwork for protections for them. Mm-hmm. Protections for their autonomy, their 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 thoughts, mm-hmm. their ideas, yep. their feelings. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like, yeah, you have these uh, uh, culture wars, right? Mm-hmm. You have like, uh, uh, you have MIGTO, you have feminism, you have all that, mm-hmm. you know? And it's like when I when I, when I tell you, you need to put yourself in a position where it's like you need to understand women just recently got right 70 years ago. Yes. So like even historically or generationally, the way we teach men and women mm-hmm. hasn't caught up to the fact that they have rights. They They've have been rights, liberated. Yeah. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Because even those who live who were alive before women's liberation, mm-hmm. like still a uh, uh, uh teach Mm -hmm. the same ideas of how women move or how women are supposed to exist in the world yeah you know it's not human it's not we see you as human in the beginning it's you know you are the companion of us and you must follow these rules for us to accept you yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like i don't know man um Snot says women got rights, so did y'all. Yes, you can say so did y'all, but at the end of the day, like, and this is what I told my brother. I was like, Jeff, at the end of the day, even if I were to lose all my rights, as a man, I am physically capable of defending defending and fighting for what I truly believe in. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like 90% all wars are fought by men. You know, so it's like even that is ingrained in the psychology of men. Of men, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's ingrained in the psychology of men. Instead of see, like even those roles are relegated to us, but like you don't really see men having an issue with that. Yeah. The issue comes up is now that instead of helping women establish their autonomy in the world as an equal, you know, it's well you chose this da 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 Mm -hmm. this is what you deserve Mm -hmm. you deserve the short end of the stick because you chose to step away from traditionalism where you know it's that patriarch male head of the house house yeah right type shit you know so it's like it doesn't leave them any room it's like yeah you have (coughs) the rights but the world psychology still uh 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 outweighs the rights you've just recently established. Yeah. And I get it too, because you got to look at it this way. Cause like you said, we had millennia to make mistakes, grow, <laughs> fix, fix it, make it better. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking from a male perspective, right. but like you said, they only had 70 years of, auto- uh, seven years of autonomy right. to do that. So of course they're going to make a lot of mistakes and they're going to have to learn from them and they're going to have to grow. And then of course it will be a generational thing and it's going to take time, but that's right. something that's going to, that's gonna that's that's something that has to be learned you can't force somebody to go back into the role that they never wanted or right. didn't have the option of choosing because like think about the things that make women still successful right it's like how they're always shit on women they'll be like oh you know 
women got their rights in the liberation, but yet they go back into the 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 systems that they considered oppressing, demeaning, ex- exploiting, like, like OF, like OF and stuff, sex work, all that stuff. Because like the that, psychology yeah. of the world still is still operating on that man mindset. Yes, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like collectively, men, and I'm speaking not for myself, but as like a general a, your, your generality right. yeah generality collectively men still don't respect women's autonomy their ideas yeah what they bring you know like to society mm-hmm. you know like, what i'm saying like because they don't see them as an autonomous human being human being they only see them as a companion yeah you see or, what I'm a saying? Sup- or a superior right or a, uh, not a superior uh, but uh, infer- inferior, inferior you yeah. know and it's not even to say that oh you're you're looking to feel that way about mm-hmm. them it's just you could be you could be the goodest person in the world mm-hmm. but just based on the way so- the structure of society is set up mm-hmm. everything is a masculine thing yes yeah exactly you see what i'm saying our infrastructure is based off of just masculine shit but that's why i said sports they had all that millennia to right get it wrong you see what i'm saying correct it and right. then perfect it Right. So, uh, again, like you said, they're only 70, 70 years into it. And I, I would say this because you guys are probably wondering why we're talking about this. But the reason why I bring this up is because the first um, two parts, the first part of the documentary talks about how uh, Dan Schneider hired um, two female writers to start writing all that. But even though they did it, they weren't they weren't their ideas were shoved aside because they would hire the the male counterparts of what they did and they would take their ideas ahead of them so it's like they've been and then the the work and they were relegated to like servant roles yeah giving massages exactly and that's where it became creepy degrading themselves you know what i'm saying oh it'd be funny if you did this right simulating sodomy Mm -hmm. and stuff like that or he would send emails saying you should you should yell uh you should call yourself uh, a, a hoe or you should call yourself mm-hmm. a bitch or you should call mm-hmm. yourself something like that. And you should scream it out loud. And you should scream it out right. loud and, 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 ma- and basically he he had he finally had power because right. based off of the, the, the first part of the documentary when he when he went to um, when he went to um, school for play he was he was made fu- he was uh, made fun of he was the fat guy well he he was also a self deprecating guy but that's what i'm saying he was but people like, would make fun of him for also being overweight too but when he finally had the power put in his place cuz remember if anybody said anything bad about him he would get upset real quick right, he'd blow so up. the self deprecation can only come from him from him but not, not anybody other else so he can dish it but he couldn't take it cuz it would just validate the insecurities he already has exactly so for him it was more about control and power and that's what kind of what he established in the work environment because every time the the, every time he he would like they were struggling the the two women that he hired were struggling they didn't Mm -hmm. have money and he would say oh if you do this i'll pay you 200 dollars. or if you do that i'll pay you 50 Mm dollars. or if you do this i'll pay you 100 Mm -hmm. dollars. right and it's like he never paid them he never owned up to his bets. Yeah, it was it was right. yes. But then when you called him out on not owning up to his bets, he would get upset. It was like little shit. It, it was he like would like, just extend he would flex his power his over power, like yeah. mundane interactions. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he only did that towards the women. Towards the women, yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like cause no dude, like I said, at the end of the day, right? Let's say Dan Schneider fired me, right? Mm-hmm. At the end of the day I could still whoop his ass. Yeah, of course. If I'm petty as hell for no fucking reason, right? He fired me. Yeah. I could still whoop his ass. Yeah. No, I feel it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's just shit like that, you know? Like, at the end of the day, it's just like, I don't know, man. It's just. It's but, and then that's that's when you made me realize when we were watching part two of the documentary, you're like, man, this man could doesn't have any, doesn't have a girlfriend, doesn't never had a wife. Like, he can't get females. He can't get women. Like, he doesn't know how to. <laughs> It be the no women getting niggas. It, it, it be it, uh, and it al- and it always is. It really it's is. Tough. It always is the. But do you see that though? But yeah, do you see how the pattern? The, but do you see how the woman has now been established as this person to cure this man? Yes. Of his depravity. Yes. Yeah. Like it's her responsibility. Do you understand that she has no autonomy? I mean, yeah. But to be make me feel better. The cure of this man's insanity. Yeah. His depravity. His his degeneracy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, if he had just got girls. 
And that's it. Yeah, but you feel right. what I'm saying? But like, right. but that's an everyday conversation. But, that, but, right. but it's it's so weird. That's that, an everyday conversation. But it's so though. weird that that's what has to happen in order for you not to do what you right. are doing. Like even in your psychology, like women aren't autonomous. And I'm not saying just the point. You no, I hear. Like, no, but, I hear. no, you're right. Like, think about it though. You're right. You see what I'm saying? Like when has like for example, right? When you talk to a woman about who has problems who's having problems right mm. they'll never say their problems stem from not having a man that's true you feel me yeah what is literally what motivates a guy to improve himself females the prospect of landing a oh, girlfriend, a girlfriend. The, well yeah because you got to look at it this way they, they they always say you got to get in the gym you have to improve you have to get your money up you right. have to right um Make sure you're in a you're a correct headspace right. and all that stuff like that. All that just to get a woman. Right. So uh, at the end of the day, it's like basic instincts. It literally just goes back to that if you really think about it. Uh, Snot says, "Was Dan Schneider also in the boys?" Nope. He only liked the uh, the. Yes, he only he he only liked the the preteen girls because you stuff. gotta yeah because you gotta understand it was all about power. Mm -hmm. It was really all about power, and right. he couldn't get that from the men mm -hmm. or the or the teenage or the teenage uh, boys. So he went after the the. the he team. wouldn't try that with the boys. Do you he wouldn't. What I'm saying? He wouldn't. Yeah, right, unless you're fucking crazy. You know, and then we'll get to that. Cause oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be, what? that'd be part three. Bodies. I, what? That'd be my first murder. What? Yeah. Oh, That's yeah, for crazy. Sure. For sure. That's crazy. I'm surprised. I'm surprised when the dad found out he did nothing. Oh yeah. Oh, he would been. What? He would been gone. What? Cartel? Where you at? Evaporated. What? what? That I would have turned that motherfucker into dust. Mm -hmm. What? That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. But yeah, man, it's just like, and and that just. Even while I was watching that, you know, because like I, I, I'm constantly understanding, you know. The psychology. Uh, uh, just society in general. How, yeah, yeah, how, yeah, yeah. We, how humans operate mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then, like, at the base where it's like, I always say, everyone is human. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Like, women have dreams the same way you do. They want to do things the same way you do. They mm -hmm. get angry at the same things you, you do. do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to do things the same way you want to do things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, they can want that. They can go for it. But on the broader scale it's just psychologically mm -hmm. the masses don't accept it exactly and, it's gonna, and it's gonna be thousands of years right. before they accept and it. what that looks like is not the whole okay men be women and men get emasculated it's just like we don't know what that looks like because yeah. we're only 70 years into this into it. But, you and, see what I'm saying and, and like, that's, that's, that's the argument that I right. don't like it's like I keep hearing the argument Oh, they had seventy years to fix this. We've sense. had millennia. Yeah, it's we've the beginning had, of time. It, we've had the beginning of time yeah. to perfect being a man. man. What the fuck? Like, so what? it's like, how can you compare seventy years what? to the beginning of time? You know what I'm saying? It's not even like, close. What? You know? You know? It's not even close. So, so it's just like I don't know, man. So like it just for you to yeah. like I said, you got. Uh, you guys, unfortunately, you gotta let them make the mistake. You gotta see them as human, and 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 not even just let them help them contribute. Contribute, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Contribute. You know, like it just I don't know, man. But I I do know it's not like I don't know. We just have to change. We have to change the way society just runs mm -hmm. like in general yeah in general and i i don't know if that's gonna that's not gonna happen anytime soon like but you will see you know throughout oh yeah for sure for sure centuries not, not in our lifetime, right not but, in our lifetime but because like you said this is just the beginning so right because we don't know what true equity true equality looks like no you know like most of the discourse and shit that that you see take place today is all theory it's all practice and theory yeah but there's no true established system of equity and equality yeah you'll never see that i think people conflate the two sometimes too right right and i feel like if we just kind of looked at everything from class mm -hmm. we could help everybody oh yeah for sure so if you look at humans and class classism and then, right humans and class mm -hmm. you know
Um, and then once you kind of see that, eventually you'll you'll end up helping all outliers, right? Let's say you help class, right? Mm -hmm. A majority of minorities are at or below the poverty line. Of course, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now, instead of doing race-based policies and saying, oh, we're going to help this specific this race. specific group of people, oh, which yeah. in itself is racist. Itself. You know, in itself, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, which is crazy, you know? But a lot of people don't see it that but way. The, but they don't see it that way. Mm. Instead of saying, hey, let's help poor people. Well, if the stats say minorities make up a majority of poor people, mm -hmm. And we're just helping poor people, mm -hmm. class. Yeah, will help a majority of the minorities. Exactly. You know, but nope. Everything has to be about race. Yep. And I think that's the biggest issue. But uh, bleeding into part two um, of the what is it? What she say? Do, 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 do. What she say? Snot says we have had millennia <laughs> to perfect being homemakers and child rears, which men suck at, arguably. Right. You what? Right. But that's a role that was put on you. Yeah, it wasn't the choice that That, that was, was never a choice. Yeah. I'm not saying like you like you can still do that. Yep. But you have the choice to do it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't have someone in 1862 a woman is just like, "Yeah, I'm not going to be a homemaker and I want to. I want to. I'm gonna go work on Wall Street. Yeah. I'm gonna be a, a lawyer. Yeah. They would have put you in a <laughs> hospital and said you're crazy. You're crazy. They would have gave you a lobotomy. Yeah. Do you understand how extreme that is? Just for having a different idea, they would have thought you were crazy and lobotomized mm -hmm. you. You see what I'm saying? I don't have an issue with the 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 roles. Like I feel like roles should be fluid. You know, depending on what you understand mm -hmm. uh, and. Uh, on how to fulfill those roles mm -hmm. as long as those roles are being fulfilled and at least to a functioning uh family you know what i'm saying or whatever system you want to run no that's true uh just saying that we could learn from right exactly yeah right right yeah. right for sure I agree. for sure for sure i agree i agree i agree you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's just like but that's the thing it's just like even in our daily conversation mm -hmm. you know just the way we speak about um the other gender um snot says you teach me business and i show you how to change a diaper wow yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. you know what i'm saying but what happens when you teach all the men to to how to change diapers then that role of teaching men how to change diapers becomes obsolete yeah. you understand what i'm saying yeah. so it's like i want to get uh, i i can imagine a world where it's like oh Ask a woman to learn how to do this mm -hmm. or ask a man to learn how to do this. Mm -hmm. It's just, oh, yeah, these people know how to do this. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I digress. I digress. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I want I wanted to get into uh, kind of the, the part two and three, which was um, the um, the introduction to Amanda Bynes. And then, of course, right. the, the, the the Drake Bell situation. Um, cause I had, um, I had a person at work tell me that she kind of does not believe what Drake Bell has said. And I said, okay, I want to hear what you have to say, because I said, I want to understand the perspective that you're coming from. Mm -hmm. And she's like, and I said, let me ask you one question though. Do you not believe what he said because of the allegate uh, because of the allegations with the, the with the young girl the that, minor the, the minor that he was uh, involved mm -hmm. with? She's like, yeah, I kind of has part in doing that. And I said, what? Well, oh shit! <laughs> My back sloppy style. <laughs> hey, hey, it's not dog. You will find, you will find that guy. Oh fine. man! It's not. It's a. It's a. My. It's. It's a. It's a minority. It's a Dog. minority, but you will find that guy. I'm oh, just. Oh man! I'm just saying. Oh man! I'm not gonna say that because I'm gonna get clip champ. Yep. Right. It's a minority, but you will they find that guy. They gonna clip the fuck out of me. No, no. So, so I asked. I asked. All right. Why is your perspective that way? And. She basically said, well, he was 15 years old and you don't think that he was doing you. He was he was doing it with um, um, the, the Brian guy 
um, just so he can get uh, get more money and make less. I said, well, you got to understand this way. I said, you got to look at it this way. Lindsay Lohan, Amanda Bynes, Drake Bell, for example, um, Zoe, mm-hmm. all of the uh, um, uh, Ariana Grande. What is the main pattern that keeps happening, especially when somebody gets um, essayed? Right. Like drugs, drugs, drinking, uh huh. The the bad behavior, they spiral out, they spiral out, yeah. Man, they crash out, they crash out. Mm-hmm. So it's like the, the how he said it probably wasn't like detail for detail, which he didn't really go into, right? But for you, but to how do you even go into but that, it, like, exactly? And right. but but for you, uh, and I said, but for you to just say that it didn't happen or he was doing it because he wanted to his own show or have money, um. You can't you can't throw that out the window completely because you got to understand you got to look at the pattern of people that have been essayed, graped, or anything like that, right. and then you got to understand that they all do the same or similar things um, after said that happens. And he and then she and then she said, well, after that he started doing Drake and Josh. I said you got to understand everybody has an escape. Okay, let's even say right, let's say maliciously he planned all this to yeah. move up in the industry. Yeah. He's still fifteen. Exactly. He's still fifteen. But that's why when we're when they when they unsealed the letters and right. you're reading it from all the the other stars like the, right. the, the two guys from Boy Meets World, right. uh, the ones from all that and all that stuff, and they're like, oh yeah, they coerced him. He's still a forty-something-year-old right. man going after a fifteen-year-old child, right. and you're saying they coerced him to do that. Does that make any sense to you? Right. That's crazy. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. That's crazy to me. Snot says abuse is cyclical. If you're abused, you're most likely to abuse someone else. Exactly. And that's what and that's what I basically that's what I basically told her too, because she's like, Well, I because her I said your judge I said your judgment's already skewed because you're already taking into account what he did with that with uh with that minor. But what you don't understand is that was before the minor existed. I'm not saying it's okay. Right, but you got to understand a lot of them that that had things happen to them when they were young tend to reciprocate and do the same thing as adults and think it's okay because it was done to them as young. Some people, yeah, will choose a different or some weird way to oh, yeah, for sure take back power exactly. They're like, Oh, I lost all my power as, as as a kid or a teenager and I want it back. By taking control, whether it be in the bedroom or w- with doing it with a with a minor or mm-hmm. becoming a PD, uh, PDF yourself. But what I'm trying to say is you can't take that away. You can't take the entire testimony away because of what he did with a minor. Yeah, that's or crazy. Or he did man. or didn't do with a minor. So That's crazy to me. So I was kind of just listening to, to her perspective and trying mm-hmm. to understand mm-hmm. why, why she thought it was fake and all that stuff like that. And I said... I personally know people that have gone through it and they've done the exact same thing. And these are normal people that aren't on TV. Not saying that those stars aren't normal people, Mm -hmm. but I'm saying these are people that aren't on television that have gone through that essay, um, that essay. And then they react the same way. They rebel. They do drugs. They drink. They, they party. They Mm -hmm. go out at night. Mm -hmm. They do all that stuff like that. Like I know I've known people that have gone through it and it's the same thing. It's not like they all sit on the phone and call each other and say, oh, you're right. Since this happened to us as as kids or teenagers, this is what we're going to do in unison. So we can so we can prove something. That's why I said, yeah, not what he says might not be 100 percent true uh, or accurate not true, but accurate. But I don't think he would sit down and, and lie about something like that. And. He, and put himself through and put all himself that, through like, all that. But I, then again, he yeah. literally said, "Imagine the worst thing possible yeah. that can ever happen, happen to, to you. Happen to you, right? And then now put that in, put that in your mind. That that's what happened to me. Right. And then us reading the files and all that stuff like that, right? The happened. released case files, yeah. And all that. Because, because, uh, and then and then she was telling me another reason for it was because oh, he's on TikTok singing. I said, "What does that have to do with anything?" That's wild. But but that's, that's what I'm saying. What? But that's what I'm saying. Do you oh, understand it's... where I always say, at the beginning of the day, at the end of the day, or the beginning, mm-hmm. you are a human first. You are, and that's what I tell you. You are a human first. You are a human being first. And I will treat you if as If you such. cannot see someone's humanity before you make some crazy statement. And, and that's the thing. It's always 
he he said she because said. someone's having a good time anything bad that happens to them is null and null void. and void yes because exactly. someone's trying to find a way to cope and move on with their lives because they are happy mm-hmm. and they're not staying in uh 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 uh, in that negative, in that negative yeah, space, yeah, and being an eternal victim, mm-hmm. it's not real. But that's the thing, and that's why they always say you can take charge of your life. It doesn't matter if you're a movie star, a TV right. star, or a, a person, a regular right. Joe Schmo, or you and me. It's if if something uh, tragic or uh, um, uh, happens to me, I don't want to be in that headspace twenty four seven. I right. want to get out of I that. Get out. So it's like, even if it's in my mind for the rest of my life, I want to find coping mechanisms for me to get out. For Drake, it was music. He le- he knew how to sing. He knew how to play the guitar. He even wrote the song for the Drake and Josh, mm-hmm. the Drake and Josh show. But it's like, for him to show any semblance of happiness it's oh he's trying to he's fake he's fake he's trying to get his clock back and all that stuff i mean look how um look how ariana grande deals with what she does amanda bynes Mm -hmm. is gone like Mm -hmm. she well she's live but she's not even in the spotlight anymore she stayed away from everything like that all that stuff like that and after that brian i can't even remember that man's last name after that brian guy did what he did to drake Disney went ahead and hired him for Sweet, Sweet Life, Life of Zach and Cody. Cody. And I'm like, are you serious? But again, I um I get it because this background checks now aren't background checks back in the day. There were no safeguards. There, was there no were sa- no systems. Exactly. But guess what's pushing this? Women's movements. Yep. Because protections for them is protections for everyone, right? Mm-hmm. Right? If they're your most vulnerable people, women and children, mm-hmm. and you create laws for them to protect them, everyone fucking benefits yeah you see what i'm saying yeah but it's like uh um let's let's go to the comments yeah uh, snot says drugs and alcohol are an escape of what you're feeling some people also binge eat or act <coughs> crazy so their abuser isn't attracted to them anymore mm-hmm. uh snot also says would drake's story be more accepted if he was a girl I feel like men's stories are doubted more, and that and that's and right. that's and that's another thing too. The when when she threw the whole oh he's a fifteen year old boy, I said what does that mean? What does that? He's mean? still a kid at the he's end of the day, because in my mind I said when I was in ninth grade, I was fifteen years old. My thought process wasn't, um, I wasn't thinking like that. I All wouldn't right. be able to defend myself against a grown ass man. A grown man. He got grown. He forty three. Yeah. A grown I don't care. Man. He was straight, gay, trans, anything. Yeah. When you have that type of strength and that age difference, mm-hmm. come on, bro. Yep. Dog. When we were fifteen, mom was still stronger than us, bro. Oh! Like, what bro, are we even talking she's still about? Stronger bro? than me now. People think, come on, people man. Think I'm strong at work. Nah. That's a grown ass man and a kid, yeah. bro. Come on, man. So that that I, kid didn't have no but, power physically or even like. But I agree with I agree with you, Snot Dog. I guarantee you, if it was if it was a girl or if it was oh, if it was, burned at the stake. Oh yeah, for sure. If it was a teenage girl, it uh, it, it would have been a different story because, um, like they like you say that you guys are seen as the vulnerable sex, so they would have treated it more seriously than it was. But because it's a guy and everything that he's gone through, it skews the perception of most people because they're like, oh, he almost got with a minor. But that again, everything that happened to him at fifteen was the result. It, it was the aftermath of right. That. Like the guy didn't even have his own car. Exactly. Like he didn't even have his own car. That's bro. why I was pissed off at his mom because his mom. Like that's crazy to me. The kid was literally getting picked so, up every day. He didn't have a car. His dad his, was picking him. His up dad was every picking day. him up every day. Like, what control over his life did he have? Zero. If he wanted to leave a situation, he can't just hop in his car and dip. I agree. You see what I'm saying? Like what? He calls his parents. You know? Like, I don't know, man. And, and especially when you're 15 and you have the world at the palm of your hands. Yep. You don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Ah, That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That is crazy. What you say? Um, do, do, do. was a teacher. Snot says there was a teacher who abused a 12 year old boy and his story wasn't believed. The teacher went to the courts and said he overpowered her or seduced her or some shit and she was the victim. Wait, what? There was a teacher. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. okay. Okay, okay. So she said the 12 year old boy wasn't believed. 
and, and I think did and they believe her? Like they believed did, her because she said he overpowered him. She said he overpowered her. That's why they didn't believe him. You know what? But that, but that, the, see, that's that's the see, that's the pros and cons of being. But that's the thing. That's what happens when it goes to like the whole when you got to bring everything back to. Mm-hmm to roles Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like if at the end of the day you're just like all right these were two human beings one human being assaulted the other human Mm -hmm. being you know what i'm saying unfortunately nobody looks at the world but they don't look at it that way yeah oh unfortunately right right i feel that so like for for boys you stop being a boy at the age of 12 yes because that's when you start puberty yeah yeah I'm pretty sure she won the case. Yep, she won the case. That's of course. crazy. But that's uh, again. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. Like it, it, it's it's a it's a pros and cons. Like again, you and I guarantee you, um, she's not the only one that was thinking like that too. Oh, it, it sounds fake because because he oh, was 15. Right. And right. There's right. I guarantee there's a lot of people like that. But they're taking into account what he did uh, after, not before. They're not looking at the before. How he dealt with the issue after, after versus yes. everything leading up to it. To it, yes, exactly. It's like they're not <laughs> looking at everything leading up to the incident. They're only looking at how he dealt with it after. Yes, and that's and that's how a lot of people and that's how a lot of people um um some people view uh, view um, most people that are victim of SA. like they don't look at it in the sense of okay this is what he went through. His only coping mechanism he he can't talk about it. His only coping mechanism is to um is to do drugs, um uh drink, spiral out of control, rebel, all that stuff like that. And, it, and that doesn't excuse like him no, talking it does. to a minor. And and that's you know what, what I'm saying. saying. I'm not I I will never excuse him for doing what he did he cuz right. uh, again too they always say you can everything in life is a choice and you can choose. Right, he made that choice. Yeah, you can choose whether to go left or you can but choose to go right. But he didn't make the right. choice to go to the guy's house. <laughs> no, he didn't. He didn't make the choice his mom, to, his to go mom, to sleep. This is why his mom pissed me off because she she took a she took right. autonomy away from She the was father. his guardian. She right. was his guardian because the dad was divorced from her and she took that the um brian convinced um the mom to take away the managerial rights from him to the point where he went to got a lawyer to see if he was siphoning money from drake which is crazy i told I, and i was telling you this too i was like you did all of this just to sleep with him that's fucking insane you literally could oh the, the the yes yeah that's he crazy. Could, that that's what pissed me off when I was watching it I'm like you you um you got um, not even Drake had no 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 autonomy over it you convinced the mom to separate the dad from the from the kid after that you got a lawyer because he didn't he kept following you everywhere because he didn't trust you then you convinced the mom to leave Drake at his house because you didn't feel like driving an hour and a half every day to pick him up to LA fucking nuts. His mom was his pimp. Yeah, that's what I said. The first thing I went around, I was like, yeah, his mom just sold him. But that's what I'm saying. He, it, essentially, his it was. Mom sold that's him. why she was even on the documentary right. because essentially it was about money. And I've noticed that about a lot of uh, 80s and 90s, um, uh, 80s and 90s parents because they didn't have anything. Their child was a prodigy. They will. They will. They would sell their. Children. They would sell their children because the money was too good. Right. You sell it. Uh, like yeah, it's a more constructed way of doing that <laughs> versus literally selling your kid come on if but she like, if she didn't know literally really, what you're doing come you're on, pimping man. your kid come on man you're pimping your kid bro come on man it has no it has nothing to do with him being gay or anything like that it was literally the it, it's like it was right in front of your face and you chose to ignore the signs the dad knew before then and even the dad before he separated he's like do not do let not let him near near brian or alone yeah. with brian and she did it anyway because she didn't feel like picking him up she didn't care it's not like she didn't feel fucking age she bro. didn't care there's a difference fucking to age. feel something you have to care about it to feel it yeah. she didn't care you know what i'm saying yeah. like what that's crazy that's crazy to me wow yep wow 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 but what are your what are your th- uh, snot says money was too good that the parents didn't have to work for and no I agree. to protect the money 
the kids made. Right. Yeah. Like I said, there were no law. There was nothing. Mm-mm. There was nothing. Nothing. No, I agree. All this, just, everything we're experiencing now is literally the past 40, 50 years. Mm-hmm. 70 max. Well, and I agree because, and I think, and you got to look at it too because the father came on for the documentary, but the mother didn't. So that's how you know Drake doesn't even talk to his mom at all or anything oh, yeah, like, or involved. Yeah, he didn't absolutely. mention her name once. Absolutely. You're Nothing done. at all. So it, it's like, you're done. She played her part and now it's like your your child ostracized you because you put, you potentially, you put him in a dangerous situation knowing what would happen. Even though the father warned you, you you said nothing and you did nothing, but then it took his uh, Drake's girlfriend, girlfriend's mom to realize that something was happening. To yeah, him. immediately. That's crazy. Like, there's no way. That's crazy. This nigga calls you. She's 40 like, why times. is there a forty year old man but blowing up your my house, house phone, phone at eight o'clock at night thirty two times? <laughs> you what, bro? That don't even sound. That's right. fucking crazy. No, that's insane. <laughs> That don't that's even insane. sound right. No, nah, that's crazy. That's insane. So that's crazy. No, but that that's that's kind of that's kind of what uh, that and that's kind of how everything came out and all that stuff like that. And I I felt so bad because the dad was tearing up when saying, "I'm glad he didn't get you." And it's like, well, he was the kid that got assaulted. So it was it was just crazy to me that that happened. <laughs> Snot says, "What's the date difference between Drake's situation and human trafficking?" That's literally what it is. That's literally what it is because, if, like I said, if you read the, the, the reports, it literally said the guy did everything imaginable, whether it, it would have been objects, himself, um, anything that he can find, he would he would um, use on him. That's and it's like crazy. you can see it. And, and you know what I always say to everybody? You see dead eyes. Dead eyes. Right. Like you can see, somebody can smile, smile at you, um, but they'll always have dead eyes. And I always say in the situation of whether it be whether it be um, SA or you're doing OF or you're doing some something that will like drain the life out of your soul mm-hmm. or so, a, tra- a traumatic experience. You can smile through your teeth all you want, but you can see the eyes. You have. To, that's why when I when I talk to people, I look at their eyes. I don't look at their smile. I don't look at their facial expression. I don't look at anything because their eyes are, are what's going to tell me. Pain sucks the light out exactly. of your eyes. Boy, exactly. What? And, 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 and that's the thing. What? When you look at somebody's eyes, you can tell whether they're alive or not in there. Like, are they just. Are you on autopilot, bro? They're on autopilot. That's literally what it is. And he even said, he even said half the, half the time. He doesn't remember he doesn't, anything. All the good moments. During that entire time. Because he was autopiloting. He was autopiloting, the whole time. like. So, like, he can't even remember key moments where, like, the cast and the crew were like, you remember when we did this? Mm-hmm. You took part in it, but he doesn't even remember it. Because he was autopiloting. He was autopiloting. Yeah. He was autopiloting that motherfucker. That's tough, bro. Deleted memories. Yep. He deleted segments of his life. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But, uh, no, no, I just wanted to ask you, like, like, how do you feel, not, not just about the documentary that we just watched, because... Um, cause I know a lot of it's go, I, I know a lot of this, uh, PDF is going on and, and, and it's all being exposed and it's all being, yeah, because what, it, did, what did Cat Williams say? Uh, big dig deviants, big dig deviants <laughs> are going to be exposed in 2024 and, and it, it really is happening. I mean, look at the whole oh, P Diddy situation that's going on right now, but how, it, it, it's just insane to me that cause I'm watching this and I'm like, you're core existence is based off of validation from the opposite gender and it's like if you cannot get it you try to find it somewhere else to me that's fucking weird you you funnel that into different ways of abusing your power exactly and and that's what i've that's what i've noticed and it's like the 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 women that he hired couldn't take it no more so they quit and then they sued him like she knew she was going to be ostracized from the industry but she didn't care she needed to put it on the map that he was like that and of course he denied everything um right. every time they asked him oh right. did he do this did he do that did he do this even though they have the proof right. the filing all that stuff like that and um <clears throat> the 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 amount of lengths that certain men will go through like i was explaining lawyer uh separating the, the dad from the the convincing the mom lying all that stuff like that just to do that to this kid is insane that's great he had that well you gotta understand this man was uh bro go he, he was a pen pal of jeffrey dahmer yeah 
Yeah. He was getting letters from Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, yeah that's And true. paintings and all these. Like, what? Nah, that's crazy. No, I get it. I get it. That's like so. Crazy. So, what is what is what is your thought about all that? Like, I just wanted to get your perspective on it because I know we probably have a similar mindset, but I just wanted. Can you like elaborate? Like, why? Why? The, I, I'm not trying to say try to understand the psychology, but like when I look at people like that, I'm like, bro, I get angry. I'm 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 calm all the time, but it's like stuff like that. And I don't know if I, I just get passionate about the innocence of not just children, but um, but um, women too. Right. So it's like when I see stuff like that, like because in your mind you're like, man, if this never happened, what direction could they have went? Right. And it's like you're like one of those guys that are, you're like one of those people, those human beings are like, man, if I could stop it, if I can help this person, if I can save this person, then their life would have been. <laughs> The life would have ended up different. What? Stop. What? Stop, snot. Is that why you always make fun of my crackhead eyes? <laughs> Stop, <laughs> snot. Oh, it's not. No. It's not. Uh, Jimmy says Jeffrey Dahmer or Epstein? Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. He was pen pals with Jeffrey Dahmer. They had, he had like a whole stash of personal letters and shit. Jeffrey Dahmer was a clown motherfucker, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yep. He even had clown pictures yep. that were sent to him. They were like best friends and shit. They were writing love letters to each other. I think the worst part was Dan Schneider knew, but he pretended. He surrounded that. himself with a lot of weird ass motherfuckers. Yeah, they, they had three. No, the worst one was the guy who's sending nudes on dial up. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, she got her daughter. That's she got great. her daughter. Uh, she got her daughter. Because uh, her daughter was on all that. And but she got her daughter out of it, but uh, it was too late for Amanda. No, nah, that's crazy. No, man, but I just I I I don't get it, man. Like I'll never I'll never, and I'm not trying to understand their mindset of thinking too. It's just like because you got to understand, Jeff. Fuck the psychology of man is I deserve it. Gotcha. And if it's not through my brains, it's through might. So if they're deficient in in a specific area, right. they'll try to obtain right. it by any means necessary. If I can't get it by force, I'm gonna get it through my brain. Gotcha. And if I can't get it through my brain, I'm gonna get it through force. Mm-hmm. And that will that can become anything. Mm-hmm. If it's through my brain, like this guy, he literally for years mm-hmm. set up traps to trap this kid. In a situation where his only way out was no way out. Yeah. He 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 put markers in this kid's life. Like he was even trying to be the dad of Drake right. and Josh. Right. He tried to set himself, play the role of Drake and Josh's dad yeah. in the series. I'm like, bro. No You're problem. driving 50, 60, hundreds of miles to his concerts. For no, for no apparent that's, reason. That's a fucking lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? And then the letters that that pissed me off. And you even writing more. crazy letters to this man? You the, know? The, well, the after he got convicted, it's like the letters that they're writing. Oh, oh, the 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 character was, witness. He, yeah, he right. was coerced. He was this. Blah blah. Right, I'm like, bro, witness. do you guys hear yourself saying this shit? This is fucking crazy. It's crazy shit. Yeah, but yeah, man. I don't know. It's crazy shit, but man. Yeah. But that's literally at the end of the day. That's because it's like. Like, what else can I say? Like, right? That's that's man shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's just man shit. Mm-hmm. That's just the evil side of man shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, I feel it. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. No, I feel it, man. I feel it. I don't fucking know. Because if it's not my, if it's not brain, it's brawn. Yeah. Yeah. If it's not brain, it's brain. Like I said, millennia. You know what I'm saying? It's like we always mention the mustache man, right? Mm-hmm. The mustache man had no fucking might. He wasn't your ultra giga Chad, so he used his brain. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But then you look at the the great mythical figures, right? Mm. They didn't have brain to get what they want. They used their might. Yeah, that's true. 
you know and even in like sinister ways too even in sinister ways yeah motherfuckers will instead of using that brain power to you know like i don't know advocate for something that benefits society they'll use that brain power to make a plan on how i'm gonna stalk this person or you know do you understand how crazy that they will learn coding and hacking to stalk someone that's crazy you understand how insane that is no that is insane they'll learn about drugs they'll learn about concoctions Mm -hmm. and stuff like that just to endanger someone just to inflict pain on some you understand how crazy that is I don't know. Oh, I get it, man. I get it. I don't know, man. No, but um, just uh, just my final thought on that. I would I would say, guys, check out the documentary. Um, it really is um eye opening. I know for the the kids that grew up in the the nineties and in the early two thousands, it's gonna ruin a lot of your you, the the perspective in your childhood on how um you view certain shows and stuff like that but it shows you the 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 sick and twisted reality of of certain producers of children's uh, television uh, of children's television right. show because you gotta look at it this way because i know sometimes when we watch anime movie they put some adult references that we never understood <clears throat> the duality of man yep. david and goliath yep there you go yeah so so it's like um it's like uh when we used to watch old uh Disney um Disney movies they would put some uh, adult references in there we didn't get it but then we would rewatch it and then we'd be like oh okay ha 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 that's funny right but it, it it's it's something about animation and real life is completely different it's completely especially different. when there when there's get, a human behind when there's it, a right. human behind a child. it yes yeah so especially when it's like an actual teenage child um behind it and then um and of course to them it's just um me being an um an actor right. an actress on tv doing i don't know like even portraying it like shows like euphoria like to each their own right you can watch it whatever yeah. like just for me i don't know mm-hmm. that like because you know i overthink shit so it's yeah, like, yeah for to sure me, it's like i don't know uh, uh adults playing teenagers mm-hmm. doing adult shit granted yeah they're teenagers we know what and teenagers that and that's do. why that's why You're it's right. weird i think that's why it's weird when they show sex scenes of adults playing teenagers but in right. our mind they're adults so in our mind we're okay but that's with it right because but do, you, do you see how that desensitizes you yes yes you see what i'm saying yeah do you see how that's made for an adult audience exactly adult consumption exactly you're an adult consuming content that's portraying teenagers, teenagers doing yeah. adult things things yes that's why I, that's why if for me personally i think in any and every movie i think sex scenes are um uh useless they don't need to be in the movie it doesn't move the plot. you can you it, it it doesn't it doesn't move the plot at all it it, it's it, it's an unnecessary um catalyst in it's, a film it's, it's, it's just it's the, horny monkey shit exactly monkey it's just, horny let's it's, put the horny shit it's, in for movie. me for me <laughs> it, it's just it for me it's just to kill time and it has nothing to do with the story mm-hmm. like if they kiss if they start kissing and then the camera pans up and then we jump to the and next it would, scene, right you know cool. i'm okay with that right. i don't need a sex scene in a film to understand what the film is about right you see what i'm saying i don't need a sex scene to understand to, for you to say I they love, love each other they love so each other. much. Exactly. A I think lot. For me, that's unnecessary. It, it it kills time and it kills the movie for me. So I, I don't think that's necessary. But uh, again, too, like like I said, guys, um, my final thoughts on it is I think you guys should watch the documentary. It's a very good facts. documentary. Um, and for, for those that... And I and I encouraged her, too. I told her, p- please rewatch it again and actually take take the what he did currently and then actually look at what happened to him mm-hmm. and then listen to what they're saying mm-hmm. because some people listen to respond not listen to understand so what i was telling her is watch it again and try to di- dissect and understand because you know how when we watch movies we learn something new every single time i watch everything over and exactly over. exactly and that's that's how come i never get tired of that's movies. just me like, uh, yeah. that, that's why I never get tired of documentaries, documentaries movies, TV show shows, like and all that, that right. stuff like that. Because when you watch them again, you can you find something new every single, every time. single time. So I encourage her to rewatch it again and actually listen to what he's saying, and then take out the whole he he was with a minor in his current years. We're talking about when he was fifteen year old, um, Josh Bell, right. not. 38 not, 40 right. 38 right. 39 year old josh bell right. that did later on later on that, that he did evil shit. because then that skews your perception your perception it's the baby hitler question yes the baby mustache exactly question, exactly you know? the baby mustache so it's like yeah 
take that out and then actually um, listen to the documentary, listen to what happened, and then you gotta you gotta look at the patterns. It's mm-hmm. I don't think he'd make something up like that. Like every destructive thing that everybody that has ever been essayed, traumatized, um, hurt or anything, they do the same thing. Right. It's literally drugs, alcohol, right. and then they, they, they either do escapism. The, the escapism. They're trying they, to, right. Basically. Absolutely. They want to forget. They want to exist outside of deal, grappling with that reality. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Nobody wants to deal with that, man. Yeah. No, but yeah, I feel absolutely. it. Uh, any final thoughts, sir? Final thoughts? Um, no, sir. Um, you? Ego Chocolate. R.I.P. We're going to miss you. I'm so glad that you supported us and what we do. I know we're like a tiny channel, but uh, you're always there in every chat. And we appreciate you for having support us. And we will see you soon. And we'll send you off with the with one for the road, boss. One for the road for you. The Reaper Army. The Reaper Army. Home of Ego Chocolate. Yeah, home of Ego Chocolate, where he will be forever remembered. Rest Watching it. us above. Yes. In the empire in the clouds. Yes. Rest in peace, Ego. Reaper Rest in Army. peace. Rest in peace, boss. Yes, sir. Any last thoughts, sir? No, sir. No, sir. All Take right. us home. Guys, thank you again for joining us at the tabletop. If you want to catch and watch our ugly mugs on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Pandora, Deezer, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and now YouTube Music. We also have our YouTube channel, One Word Tabletop Topics, our Triple T Clips channel, and our TikTok. So if you click on the links, it'll take you directly to the episodes. And of course, we have timestamps so you can navigate throughout. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and of course, leave us a comment. Again, guys, thank you again for joining us at the Tabletop. You have a good night, weekend, evening, and day, and we'll see you on Tuesday. See ya. See ya.